everyone, it's Janice. Welcome back. Today I'm doing an overview of my highlighter collection. I have some that I like for the face, some that I like for the body. You know, each one I use in a little bit different way. And I'm just going to be showing you guys my thoughts on each of these products. I will do swatches and I'll also tell you guys which brushes I like to use to apply the products. And when I started highlighting my face, I noticed like a huge difference in the way my you know overall appearance and overall makeup looked and I think it makes a huge difference so you know it's not something you necessarily need to do like every day but I do think it makes a difference in the way your makeup looks and I really like a lot of the ones I have here so let me get started with telling you guys about each one uh, this one is Benefit Sunbeam this is just the small size of it I've also had Moonbeam and I think they might have one other one of these little uh, liquid highlighters. It comes in a little um, container with this nail polish applicator. And this one I really like more so just in the summer because it's really like gold. This one I like to put on the top of my cheeks. Um, I don't really, um, you know, put this one under the brow. Those are the other places, you know, that I highlight would be like under the brow, top of the cheekbones, things like that. But this one I do like to use at the top of the cheeks, particularly in the summer. My favorite highlighter is probably the Dior Amber Diamond. I included this in my um, high-end um, products worth the hype video. I really think this product is worth the hype. It's an expensive product. I got it during a VIB sale, um, but it comes with a lot. It's got four different shades, so you can swirl them all together or use each one as you want. You can use it as eyeshadow. I just think this is so versatile. I think it's gorgeous. The effect is always just Perfect. I kind of just swirled my finger through all four of the shades. So there's the swatch right there. Um, just trying to hold my hand different ways and see, you know, where it is that you guys are going to be able to see the swatch really well. I do absolutely recommend this product. I do not regret it whatsoever. It's perfect every time, year round. Love this one. This next product is actually a bronzer, but I used it more as a highlighter. And this is the Lorac Tantalizer. So this was just a little mini size of it. It's almost gone. And the way I apply this is like with a big fluffy brush. So I like to apply this on my legs in the summer. It kind of like, you know, bronzes them up a little bit. I don't use any self tanners or anything like that. But if I do just want like a little bit of color or a little bit of a sheen, I like to use this one. Let me do a swatch for you. I have tried to use this as eyeshadow before. It actually looks really sim. Well, no. At first it looked kind of similar to the Dior Amber Diamond, but it's really not. This is a much deeper, darker bronze. I tried to use it as eyeshadow before. I didn't care for it as eyeshadow. Um, but that's one thing. You can kind of experiment with your highlighters, and you don't necessarily just have to use them just as a highlighter. You can see what you like them for. Uh, next, I didn't really care for this either, but you know, I think that's helpful too, not just to tell you guys my favorites, but ones that, you know, maybe didn't work out for me so much. I am a big fan of the Tarte brand, but this is the Tarte Smooth Operator. I think this was like an Illuminizer is the way they advertise this, so you can mix it with your foundation. Um, I'm not going to do, you know, a swatch of this because this product is just kind of strange. It has like an odd consistency. It's kind of like yellowish and like runny. And I just don't really care for the way this, this swatch is. So sorry for not being, you know, helpful with the swatch here. But it really is, like, gross. And it's probably going to, like, run all over my hand. Um, if you have dry skin or if you need more of, like, a luminous all-over look, you might like this. Um, you know, like I said, I do love the Tarte brand. This was a free sample. Thankfully, this is not something that I would buy. Um, Laura Mercier Shimmer Block in Golden Mosaic. I love this one. I got this in a 500 point perk. Um, it's really easy to use because it's got four different shades. So, um, you know, you can choose which shade you want. This does look great as eyeshadow. This one I really like to use like when I travel because it's just, it has so many options for you here. So I like to use the little like white shade like right under the brow. Um, and I like to use like kind of swirl all the shades together to do on the top of the cheekbones This little white right here looks great on like the top of the cupid bow if you want a little bit of a pop there I'm not really sure how to do a swatch for you guys of this one Let me just I'll kind of swirl my finger through the bottom three and not the brown because the brown really just will make the swatch turn like super brown I'm putting this one all the way. It's gonna be this one right here. Okay, so that is the swatch, Laura Mercier Shimmer Block um, in Golden Mosaic. And I find this a little similar to the Dior Amber Diamond. I really feel like this product is like super special and there isn't much like it. But um, when I, you know, put this on my cheek and notice like from day to day which one of these I'm using, 
it, it is kind of a similar effect between the two, and this one's less expensive. So if you want to try this one out, you can. Uh, this one, I'm trying to decide how I feel about this. I got this in the birthday perk recently, so this is a benefit WhatsApp. I feel like it's just a little bit too shimmery. Um, if you're going for that, look great. Um, I like that it comes in a stick, so this, you know, it's really easy to use just in stick form. Oh yeah, by the way, the way that I apply the other ones, the powder ones, is I typically like to use a fan brush. I'll just kind of like tap the fan in the product and then, you know, just kind of sweep it over. And if I'm doing something more like under the brow, I just use like a nice fluffy brush and just tap it in there and do it there. Um, I don't, didn't include this in my collection, but uh, another product I like to use to highlight is just a matte white or like yellowish eyeshadow. And I do that like right above the brow, like on the second half. I learned that from Goss Makeup Artist and I feel like that um, it actually makes a better difference than highlighting under the brow. It really like lifts the face, you know. Um, I'm not old, and um, but when you get older, like, you know, your face, it, it falls. It kind of droops. So that's the idea of highlighting. It kind of brings the face up and brings some dimension to the face and pops out those areas um, that you want to stand out, the areas in the face that do stand out a little bit, you know, like here and here and here. But, um, yeah, I noticed when I put a little bit of shadow right above the eyebrow, it you know, makes your face pop and just feel a little bit lifted. Few more to show you. Um, this one is also one of my absolute favorites and it's the Laura Geller Highlighter Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla. This is just a mini size of it. I got it in the Laura Geller kit. Not sure what the price of it is full size and just a small size is fine with me because like it takes a while to go through a highlighter. Um, the, only, the only one I've ever gone through besides High Beam I had a little mini size of the Too Faced Leopard Bronzer and her Pink Leopard Bronzer. I don't know why they call that one a bronzer because it's a highlighter. It's like a um, blush or a highlighter. That one was really pretty, but I did make my way all the way through that. But it, it would be kind of hard to make my way through all of these. Um, I'm going to try. I don't plan on any buying any more highlighters right now because I'm really happy with all the ones I have. Um, but this has been compared to Lorac Spotlight. This gives more of like a matte effect. I feel like this is perfect anytime like year round this one is great for photography um, I like to use this one particularly if I'm using a shimmery blush I like to use like a more more of a matte highlight I know that sounds you know kind of contradictory like a matte highlight doesn't really like make sense but it is it's like a matte highlight and um, it's also been compared to it's that wet and wild it's like tiki I want to say it's whatever that like little wet and wild highlighter is and I haven't bought that one because I already have this one so it's like I don't really need to check out if that one is like this one because I already have this one um, but I'll do a swatch of this it's more of like a light yellowish I suppose like the other ones you know are very gold and like the benefit high beam is like pinky and then that Too Faced pink leopard one I said is more like pinky and this one is really would probably be good for lighter skin tones. I, I'm not sure. This this might work for like practically everyone. I really, really like this product. One of my favorites. And then one that I like to use on the body is the Laura Geller um, Baked Body Frosting. This comes in a couple different shades, but this one is a combo of like Sugar Glow and Honey Glow. And I apply this all over the body with like a big, big fluffy brush. And this is really like a body perfecter. I, um, I think I mentioned before, like I don't use self tanners, but this, you know, kind of gives the effect of that, but, and it doesn't rub off on your clothes. It's really, really easy to use. Like you can put it like top of your shoulders or like, um, you know, even if you don't want to use it all over your body or like all over your legs or anything, just a little bit like on the collarbone or like right here makes a difference. And you could also use this one on the face. And this also comes in a darker shade, which I don't have. I think it's Tahitian Glow. So this is Sugar Glow and Honey Glow. And I will do a swatch of each side for you. So here is the deeper brown shade right there. It's going to be my bottom one there. Let me try and turn this a little bit till you can see it. There you go. So that's the darker shade. And let me do the lighter one for you too. Running out of space. I need a bigger hand. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's super, super pretty. So I really, really like this one. And um, so this one also I got in the Laura Geller kit. So this is kind of a pricey product, but I got it in a kit for like pretty much the same value of like what this is with like a whole bunch of other goodies. So this one I do recommend. I think it's worth the value for how big it is and the fact that you can use it on your face and your body. And then, you know, like I said, just to sum it up, this one also really like the Laura Geller one and the Dior Amber Diamond is just, oh, 
it's just so special and like luxurious like you don't have to have this it isn't like a must-have but like I said it, it really is worth the money and if you were to get this one I just don't think you'd be disappointed so I hope this video was helpful for you guys let me know what are your favorite highlighters if there's any you think I should check out but you know like I said I'm kind of gonna like try and stop the addiction and I'm pleased with the ones that I have so maybe don't tell me if there's other ones that I should get um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one and thank you for watching bye